so did you guys see the paper this week about the mill? Yeah, look at what's going on. We're trying to open up a uranium mill, and three fifty D. They're trying to shut it down. You know, it was a big dream. People are looking forward to these jobs. Out I want I want them to understand that there's people here. Yeah, jobs. but I don't think they care about us people. I mean, there's no compromise. <laughs> they don't care about us. Nuclear power was supposed to be our future. A lot of this town was here because of Union Carbide, and then when they left, we're still here. They're, they're long gone now. It's almost like we're still surviving, but it's just kind of like those last few breaths. We want to keep breathing, but we've got to get something in here to do it. Nuclear energy remains our largest source of fuel that produces no carbon emissions. We'll need to increase our supply of nuclear power. It is the first uranium mill to be built in the United States in 25 years. The only thing I'm interested in is, is seeing this mill get stopped. If you're only hearing the piece about jobs, you're not protecting your community. I dare you to do better. The people complaining the most are driving to the protest in their Mercedes. You can only kick a dog so many times and pretty soon he's gonna turn around and bite you. We have a lot of people telling us that the land is more important than the people. There is no impact from what we have done or what we plan to do in the future regarding uranium mine development. We need more production, more efficiency, more incentives. And that means building a new generation of safe, clean nuclear power plants in this country. They are not telling you the truth. I'm really disgusted and I'm against this mill. Fibrosis. I lost a father and two brothers from lung cancer. They all worked in the mines. My dad and my younger brother both died at the age of 48. But the way I feel, it was their time to go. Okay.